Hey, what's happening YouTube? Gorilla here. If you've seen my videos, and you probably have, you know how much fun flying paramotors can be. Flying is actually the easy part. Getting off the ground is the hardest or most challenging part of flying paramotors, trike or foot launch. I wanted to take a few minutes and put together a video about my technique for launching a trike. How I set up and how I lay out the wing. This would probably be a good time to mention I'm not an instructor. These are just some tips that maybe some of you guys that are new to it can uh, take something away from it. Maybe something will help you out. I learned hanging around uh, more experienced people that you could pick up little tricks that you take with you and continue to use. So I hope this helps some of you out. I'm going to walk you through a setup and layout of my wing. Layout of the wing is very important. A good layout leads to a good launch in most cases. Sometimes the wing comes up crooked, sometimes you get a wind shift or it catches on one side, but toward the end of the video I'm going to go into how to deal with that when you don't have a perfect inflation. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about talk a little bit about my launch and layout for trike and how I do it. So what I do is I lay my wing out, just kind of roughly stretch it out at first. And I go through all my risers. I'll pick them up like this and stretch them out and comb through all my lines, starting with the A lines, all the way down B, C's, D's, everything's clear. Take a few steps forward. Lay with my risers up facing out. I'll do that on both sides. I hook up my chase cam to the center of my wing, um, one line back from the trailing edge. Let's just set it back there. So what I do is I'll find the center of my wing and I'll center my trike on that. So I'll put the center of my trike, center line right down along with the center of the wing. Then we'll hook in our risers, making sure the A's are up. Make sure my carabiner's on the outside of all of my harness. And I hook my carabiner into my riser like so. Make absolutely sure that the A's are up. I've hooked them up backwards. It still flies, but you have to land and straighten it out. There goes Carl, taking off into the sunrise. Okay, my other side, and remember I've gone through and combed out all my lines to make sure that I don't have any tangles. They're all clear. We'll go ahead and hook up my carabiner to the riser on the left side. Okay, once I've done that, I'll walk back here to the center of my wing, behind my wing. Go ahead and pull the chase cam back out of the way. Then I'll get the center of my wing here and just pull it back to the lines are taut like that. And this leading edge is facing up so it catches the air. Then I'll work my way down the wing, pulling it back till the lines are just taut. All the way down to the tip. I'll go back to the center and do this working in the opposite direction. A good wing layout for trikes is very important because if you get a good layout, your wing's more likely to come up straight and on center. And you don't have to spend a lot of time taxiing on the ground to get your wing under control. So that's the way I like to see my wing laid out right there. Now we'll go ahead and come back here. Get 
get our chase cam started and we're recording and we'll set it up something like that okay radios on and radio checks complete activate our strobe let's fly So we'll go ahead and get strapped in here. Roll on throttle. Okay, did you hear that? Roll on throttle. I do that as a reminder to myself that when I start off, I need to ease onto the throttle gently. Okay, I'm gonna roll on throttle and get ready to send it. Here we go. This does two things for me. First of all, the air or prop blast starts to fill the cells and inflate the wing. Makes it come up easier. Second of all, it keeps my lines from pulling against my cage and flexing it into my prop. And we're up. If you get a good wing layout and you're directly into the wind without any wind shifts or anything, generally the wing will come up fairly straight. As it comes up to the 10 o'clock or so position, you catch the surge by applying a little equal brake pressure on each side. That's to keep the wing from overshooting you and, and front tucking. Then on the other hand, sometimes things don't go as planned. Sometimes the wing doesn't inflate evenly and it comes up more to one side or the other. Sometimes you get a slight wind shift right before you launch. The thing to remember is just stay calm. If you don't have a good wing overhead, reduce throttle and just get it under control. If the wing is off to your right, turn the wheel to the right. If it's off to the left, turn it to the left and you'll be back under the wing. Continue to kite the wing and maintain positive glider control. Even the very worst inflations can usually be saved with proper glider control and turning your wheel to get yourself centered back under the wing. So here's the thing to remember. Every launch isn't going to be perfect you're going to have some failed launches. Don't try to force it. Don't try to push it until you have a good wing overhead. If shit is going bad, just abort the launch. Be ready on that kill switch. It's going to happen. It happens to everybody. Even these damn foot launchers. So, anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope somebody got some benefit out of this and maybe learned something and help you along in your journey. Once you get into the air, there's so much to see and do in this amazing sport. You can truly explore the world in three dimensions. So anybody thinking about getting into this, I would encourage it. Go get some training, get some gear, and join us in the skies. Guys, if you like this video, take a quick second and throw me a comment and hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, we'll see you in the air. Gorilla out.